Today, we're gonna to be talking about monitoring metrics of your team members and why it's so important to actually figuring out who is productive and who might need some help. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Neil Winterig with Matterhorn Business Development and today we're gonna to continue our talk about statistics and management and how you can continue to use statistics or why you should be using statistics in your business to manage your employees and monitoring production. Now, this is a subject that has a lot of different ideas and feelings connected to it and so I'm here to hopefully dispel some of the reasons why you might not be doing that and why you should. Now, you're gonna have your own opinion on that and that's totally fine. You can tell me how wrong I am in the comments down below if you like, that's totally good. But I I'm here to talk to you because it is something that is important to managing your business. In fact, it's so important that we have teamed up with our friends over at metapulse.com because they have an actual tracking management program that we use for ourselves as well as our many customers and clients to actually monitor their production and monitor their businesses from afar. And it's something that you can also utilize. So click the link down below, go to metapulse.com and you get a 14 day free trial to find out for yourself. Now, what I'm specifically gonna be talking to you about here today is in regards to measuring production production of your individual employees, meaning how effective they are at their jobs, so that you can actually reward them for their production. What got me thinking about this is seeing, you know, and browsing around different memes, different things online, tweets, Facebook posts, whatever it is that employees put out there saying, oh, the problem with being the most effective person in the job that I have is that when I finish my work, I have to do the work of everybody else. And that's a very real thing. And you might experience that where you're the best at doing it and you've done all of your work and then you're asked to go do other people's jobs who fell down on the job or couldn't do it. Well, that's a problem. Now, that's not the problem of the star employee and the star producer that you have. That's a management problem. And that is coming down to the fact that management is not actually keeping an eye on what individual people are doing and how effective and productive they are at their jobs. And again, there's a lot of different feelings on that. But I want to tell you as a management person, if you see a rock star employee whose numbers and production continuously are improving and getting better, and they are outpacing everybody else, you reward them for that production. You give them bonuses. You come up with bonus plans, games, systems, things that actually make an employee want to continue to work harder so that they are having fun at their job and want to actually continue to do it. And the easiest way to do that is through production bonuses. People ask me all the time, what type of production bonuses are there? Well, you can give them movie tickets and nice dinners and things of that nature, but honestly, they want cash. That's what people want. They want cash. Now you can ask your own employees what they're interested in and it is great to have team building type activities that they get to do together. But in reality, people want cash. So how do you take care of good employees? You monitor through production, you reward them when they do really good things and then they will continue to be motivated to work with you and work for you. Statistically speaking, in my own observations, this is just the words of Neil here. The people who are opposed to production monitoring, the people who are opposed to having a statistical graph that they keep track of or that they report back to you on, on what they did or not are the lazy people who don't wanna do their jobs. They are the people that should not be part of the team. That is my own observation. That is not true for everybody, but I've been in hundreds of businesses throughout the United States in the last 20 years, and that is what I have observed. So employees that give you a hard time are the ones that usually aren't producing and usually aren't doing the things that they're supposed to do. So your job as an executive or a manager or somebody in charge of a business is to actually monitor these statistics and figure out who's doing good and who's not doing good so that you can help them do better. It is not a system to make them bad people or to fire them because they didn't do well enough. It's there to find out what they are not capable of doing that your star employee is capable of doing and then helping them get there. And sometimes people don't want to do better and they don't want to do the things that the other guy is doing. And so maybe it's best if you guys part ways. This has happened to me. I have seen the production of an employee consistently getting lower and lower. And then I pulled them aside and I said, hey, what's going on here? The last few weeks, your numbers haven't been as good and I want to see you doing good. What's going on? They go, you know, I'm just not having fun anymore. I want to go do something else. Now, I did not pull them aside to let them go. I just wanted to find out what problem they were having. And it turns out a couple of weeks ago, they decided, you know what? I'm not enjoying working here as much as I did before for whatever reason. And they wanted to go. Now, they didn't tell me that. I had to pull them aside based off of what I saw happening. And then they said, this isn't for me and I want to leave. I said, okay, no problem. If that's for you, that's great. If you have any suggestions, feel free to write them down and we'll take them into consideration for the future. But 
no hard feelings. And they walked out the door and it was totally fine. So I knew what, that that was a problem because I saw for two weeks a consistent drop in the productivity of that particular employee who used to be pretty good. Not the best, but pretty darn good. And then all of a sudden I said, what is going on here? And I was able to spot that before that employee started trying to badmouth me or the company to other employees and upset other people and create a big brouhaha. I was able to spot it and said, what's going on? And they said, I want to leave. Okay, good, fine. But I caught it and I did not create a situation that I later regretted because I had kept somebody on board who shouldn't have. And so production and monitoring of statistics is there as a diagnostic tool. Who's doing really good and I should reward and who's not doing so good that I should try and help to do better. And then that is where you will find out who wants to be part of the team and who doesn't want to be part of the team. You will only know that if you have some sort of a metric tracking for all of your employees to figure out who you want to have around and who might not want to be part of the team. So again, the only experience I have with people being opposed to metric tracking or having their production graphed or being rewarded for hitting particular targets are people who don't want to work or are problems. So in my estimation, it helps you, the business owner, with actually keeping everybody productive and creating a real team. And anybody who doesn't want to be there can go and they can go work somewhere else and let them leave. But you'll only know that if you actually monitor these things. This is what we use Metapulse for, for clients of ours and businesses that I've never never even been to, I can track numbers and see what's going on. And I can say, hey, this is a red flag because I can see things going downhill and actually figure out where the stop is and get it solved. That's what we use Metapulse for. You can use whatever tracking system it is that you want to use. That's who we use because this is what they do. But it's up to you to implement some sort of a system to monitor your employees. Now, if you have any questions on that, please contact us at adventuretoprofit.com. You'll find the link down below and we can actually work out with you where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and how to improve your metric tracking in your company. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.